Kenzo Coes. What is up? It is me, Super Gamer Girl here. Now, I'm a little freaked out about this, so warning, watch this with a friend or something. If you're, you know, into scary stories, then go ahead, watch it alone. We all know I made a video on Royal High, and it was a scary video. We all know it was really, really spooky, right? I started to read your guys' scary stories, and then this happened to me in real life. It was late night, and I was reading them. I went to sleep. <laughs> so happy now there is a pile of folded clothes on my left side of the bed so i was gonna leave it there wait for tomorrow so that i can put them away nicely to where i can see everything i went to sleep i wake up i open up my eyes i look to my left and i see that there is something getting dragged in my clothes like a human being okay i'm not going to describe how they look but i can see them being dragged and it's like a quicksand it's like quicksand it looks like quicksand and next thing you know, I close my eyes. I don't worry about it. I freak out, but I close my eyes. I go back to sleep. Next thing you know, I've never done this in my entire life. I've never, never, ever slept walk. Tell me why I was right by the pile of my folded clothes. And I was throwing my clothes. I was literally throwing it. Like I was, I was grabbing it and I was throwing it. I was grabbing it and throwing it. Why? Okay, I get it. I did not I did not even think about saving them. I was creeped out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think they need help. But I did not seriously want to go there. <sighs> I'm still really confused by it. I don't know what scary story it was that I read. It was super hot. A sis was about to pass out. I don't know. It's usually never hot. But for that one night, it was boiling hot. I lay back on my bed. I just throw myself on my bed. I go to sleep. Next thing you know, I wake up. It's still night. I didn't even want to check the time. How I work is that if I check the time, I'm going to see how bright my phone is and I'm not going to go to sleep. And then there, my sleep's ruined. So I did not check the time. And some of you guys can relate to that. So next thing you know, as I'm walking to go get a cup of water, I'm like, wait, I stop. And I'm like, did that really happen? Did I really just do that? Did I really just try and save something that was drowning in my pile of clothes? And I still cannot believe it. I still can't. I don't know what it was. It was not a dream. I don't think it was. Okay? Don't think so. I'm just going to try and laugh it off for now. I have no idea what it was. I, I did not love that experience. But get this. Next morning comes. I go to sleep. I'm a little skeptical because I don't want to go to sleep. But out of nowhere, I had the most beautiful sleep ever. Not ever. It's like top 10, probably 7th place. But it had all of my favorite things. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe. Anyways, leave it in the comments down below. Would you A, check the time, B, sleep in a different position and spot, just stay awake for that entire time and try and process whatever happened. Let me know if you guys have ever gone through the same encounter or anything close. And have you ever found out what it really was? And until next time, guys, it goes, bye guys.